In gun stock deformity, the risky vitus varus or valgus deformity. I hope you know what is gun stock deformity, actually a bony deformity due to supracondylar fracture of humerus and if unhealed, unreduced fracture goes into malunion that will lead to a gun stock deformity. So here you seeing in this image, this is a case of supracondylar fracture of humerus. The lower end, the condyle end, you can see has been displaced laterally and has been pushed back upwards. With that leading to this deformity called gun stock deformity. Here you seeing this child is suffering from this right sided supracondylar fracture of humerus and the deformity you can see is that this is the humerus, right? This is the fractured end of the humerus and this is the condylar portion of the humerus and then you have is the radius and along the side. So what you are seeing is because of this fractured piece of condylar end of the humerus which is pushed out laterally backwards and upwards, there is this angulation formed, right? And you can see the overall deformity that they have shown is with the help of this gun. So the upper limb appears like a gun stock. So this is how the supracondylar fracture, if not reduced properly within time, this can undergo malunion, which might lead to this deformity called gun stock deformity. Now once more look at this image, so you'd understand what I was explaining. This is the normal thing. In normally, the carrying angle is around 15 degrees, right? So the forearm is deviated laterally by around 15 degrees which is less in males and more in females that's a normal carrying angle but if this angulation becomes more the carrying angle thing then it is called kivitis valgus but if the longitudinal axis of the forearm is directed medially so the carrying angle will be found laterally right and this is called cubitis varus deformity in gun stock deformity there is cubitis varus deformity.